it's bedtime and Lysa's kittens have a new bed to sleep in. They had a cardboard box before and it kind of got destroyed, so I brought this piece of rubber made up. Actually, I think it's Sterilite. So they're examining it. It's got a nice little blanket in the bottom so they can be comfortable. Mom was in it a few minutes ago and uh, the kittens are now checking it all out. So these guys are, I think, 13 weeks old. Um, we have two lilac tabby points, both spoken for, of course, and we have two blue tabby points, which I think might be both spoken for. I'm waiting to hear about the second one, but definitely Rumi will be going to his new home in Virginia um, sometime in December. And now they're going to come over and check me out. They can run, to th run the nursery during the day, but at night I like to get everybody put back into their uh, secure spaces so that they uh, don't have any, any problems with uh, jumping too high, falling off of something, uh, doing all those things that kittens do. Uh, plus, I know where they all are in the morning. They were all dewormed today, so we'll see if they maybe have a, a touch of diarrhea or something in the morning, which sometimes happens when they're, when they're warmed. Um, it's interesting with this foursome how the two boys, which are doing a little bit of wrestling right now, tend to congregate together, and the two girls also tend to stick together a little more. I more often see the two girls together, the two boys together, than I see a boy and a girl together, for instance. Whether that has to do with sex, whether that has to do with color, I really couldn't say, but I suspect it's a color thing because I notice it with the adults as well. So there they are, Lace's kittens, getting ready for bed. How do you calm down the kids so that they can go to sleep? Ask any mother, they never know. Hopefully they will settle down shortly and have a good sleep. Good night, everybody.